there are many photographs taken from space that clearly show that the Earth is a sphere. Most famously those depicting the whole globe were taken during the Apollo missions to the moon in the late 1960s and early 70s. However, long before the days of space travel it was known that the Earth was a globe. We don't need to go into space and use NASA science to work out the world is a globe and is not flat. Around 250 BC, Eratosthenes of Siron calculated the circumference of the Earth to be 39,690 kilometers. This was accurate to within 1% of the actual circumference. In ancient Greece, Pythagoras and Aristotle, 577 and 384 BC, both believed the world to be a globe. This was over 2,000 years before the existence of NASA. They couldn't use modern technology or satellites to work out the shape of the Earth. Just good old-fashioned geometry, observation and mathematics. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to use the same technique. No NASA involved. Firstly, we need to be able to measure with a reasonable degree of accuracy the angle of a star taken from two places on Earth along the same line of longitude. That is a straight line stretching away directly southwards from the North Pole. Even lines of longitude are present on the flat Earth map as we can see here. To make this measurement we need to use an instrument that can measure the star's angle. Digital angle finders can now be purchased for about £20 from many outlets and come in different forms and are not NASA based. The instrument just needs to be level on the angle of the star viewed along the length of the finder. The instrument could be fixed to a tripod to give greater stability and accuracy. Alternatively you can use a different device constructed from a modern smartphone. If we use a ruler attached to the phone along its length and an app on the phone such as Smart Tool Ruler and Protractor we can use this to point at the star and take a snapshot of the reading on the screen to give the angle of the star. I have used this method and was able to make measurements to within 2 degrees of accuracy. Once we have our measuring device we need to choose what to measure. I have chosen to measure the angle of Sirius the dog star as this is the brightest star in the sky and easy to find. Next we need to choose our location. I have chosen to measure from my back garden as this was the easiest place to make the measurement. Then we have to determine the best time to make the measurement. I chose 11.15pm on the 14th of January 2016 as this was the time when Sirius would be exactly to the south of Mansfield, UK, my hometown. The measurement I got was just over 21 degrees. To double check this I used a popular astronomy program on my PC called Solarium. It's a free program and can be downloaded by anybody, it's not made by NASA. After putting in my location, which was latitude 53.1433 degrees north and longitude 1.206 degrees west, latitude and longitude of any position could be determined from basic maps, but for convenience I have used Google Earth. I then programmed the time and date into Stellarium as the 14th of January 2016 at 23.15 and 14 seconds and found the angle of Sirius on the meridian line to be 20.159 degrees decimal, making my measurements just over 1 degrees out. With a more accurate instrument they would have been far less. Having determined that my measurements tallied with the astronomy program I then used the program to measure the angle of Sirius from a point exactly 500 miles north of me for the same time and date and along the same line of longitude. This point turned out to be located in the Shetland Isles. The measurement for the angle of Sirius from here was found to be 12.958 degrees decimal very close to 13 degrees. Having made these two measurements we can determine how far the star would be away using the flat earth scenario. 
Drawing an accurate and scale diagram, we can see that the two sidelines of the star intersect at a point 840.1 miles south of Mansfield and at a height of 308.27 miles above the Earth. If we draw a vertical line down from this point to the ground and locate this position on a map, we find it to be close to the little village of Valverde in southern Spain. If the Earth is indeed flat, then the star Sirius should appear directly overhead of this location at 23, 15 and 14 seconds on the 14th of January 2016. Instead what we find is that Sirius appears at an angle of about 32 degrees above the horizon and not overhead. Since it is logical to assume that Sirius cannot appear in two places at the same time then something must be wrong with the flat Earth model. If however we look at a diagram of a spherical Earth and plot the same measurements using a scale diagram with the Earth having a radius of 3,959 miles then we can clearly see that the star Sirius will appear in the sky at the predicted angle from all three locations. This is because Sirius is 8.6 light years away and its sight line would appear parallel from all three locations they would only merge on the star 8.6 light years away. From measurements of a star taken using a simple instrument from three locations at the same time we can clearly demonstrate the Earth cannot be flat and must be a globe. No need for NASA or photos from space. Simple observations and geometry is all it takes. Thank you for watching my video.